So welcome to Scripture Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an elevation profile for points or a, a line feature. So first, you need to have a feature created. If you want to learn how to do that, you can easily use the video card at the top of your screen or you check the description of this video for that. I won't want so many points for this feature. I will call the name Special Data Hub. If this is your first time watching this video, you can check the video series on Google Light Pro course. And you can also check the channel for several other content which might interest you. So we have our line feature here. To show the elevation first, before we go out of here, we can right click under the My Places um, tab, right click, and you see Show Elevation. And then it shows the elevation of the route. As you move your cursor along the route, where is this? It's not. Yes, as you move your cursor along the route, it shows you the point. You can see the red arrow. It shows you the point along the route where you currently are viewing, showing you the altitude, the height above sea level, the um, change in elevation as well. So you can use this as a screenshot if you want to, or you could do better and plot it on Excel. So let's do better. We can, okay, one more thing. If you want to show elevation of specific points on a location, you can easily create a folder here. Create a folder, my folder. Then under my folder, you can go on to add points, add points as you want. So when you add points, you can now, you can't view this elevation as one, but you can export it and pr proceed to the next step, just like we would have. I just wanted to show that we won't be doing it. So where were we? Yes, this is where we are. On our special data hub route, you can now right click and see save places. So if you're working with the points in the folder, you right click on the folder and say save places. So you save it in, the, in your preferred directory, special data routes. You can save it as a KMZ or a KML file. And you save. Now you go to your browser and type on your search engine, GPS visualizer, GPS visualizer. When you do your, run your search, it takes you to this website. It takes you to this website here. Now click on look up elevations. That takes you to this page. So here you can select your file. What was the name of our file? Special data. Where are you? Special data routes, open, it has loaded in here. So now you can click on, um, on your output file, select plain text and convert and add elevation. It runs it up here. So click on downloads the txt file so that you can have it on your PC. If this is done, which it is, let's go down to Excel. On our Excel file, okay, one more thing here. You can choose to copy the, the points here and paste on your Excel file, but it doesn't organize it properly. So I choose to import it, download it and import it directly. So from your, our Excel file, you would 
click on data from text or CSV. Um, yeah, that's this document. And then you click on imports. So, if everything is all right with you, you click on load and you get it in. So now I want to plot the points of altitude. Remember it's altitude data, which we are interested in. Let us insert a new column here. We insert a new column here so that we can plot them as different points x against y okay so once you've set up your columns your x and y columns you can highlight the features highlight the columns and quick analysis so you press ctrl q ctrl q now gives you you can create a bars and whatnot whatnot that's not our interest our interest is in charts yep so this you can use bar charts to represent your um outputs this is one let's just keep it here see for the different points one point two point three you can see how the elevation changes let's also do this again oh sh no i do not want to replace you Highlights, Ctrl Q, on the charts. Yes, this is what I want to see. You can use this scatter or you can use this line plot. Let's use the scatter. Scatter plot. Now, we can go back to our Google Let's Pro. Okay, no. exactly as you see if you watch through your google Ads pro and your chart here do we see the similarity in the change in elevation so if you have more points if you have more points on your charts which i would request you to make for example if you are to make a topographic survey of an of a location you do not want to just create one part in fact, if I was to make a topographic survey of this look of this point, I would make it in a pattern that represents nearly every point along the route, along the along the space in the span. Until I get to the last point. With that, when you plot your points, your altitude against the number of points, then you'll have a more descriptive chart available for your analysis. That will be it in this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you don't have any questions, but if you do, you can ask or reach out to me using the links in the about section of this channel. We'll see you in the next video.